This video is brought to you by Let's Synthesize Academy, the number one place for practice-oriented courses for serious music producers. Hey, Dan Larson here, welcome to the new Synthesize Sunday episode. Now, this snare is the most commonly used hip-hop snare in the world right now. And in this video, I'm going to make you how to build this snare from scratch. So let's get jump into it. Before we get going, let me encourage you to subscribe for weekly very awesome tutorials. So this snare instrument is built up by two 808 instruments, a snare and a clap, and one clavier instrument that we are going to synthesize in operator and it is very very simple. So let's jump into it now. Okay, so what I want to do is open a new instrument rack. Just drop it in here and let's start with the operator the clavier because that is the simplest thing right it's really simple so what you want to do is take a simple sine wave and set the pitch so right now this is what we have so let's crank up the course to nine and also if you are interested in more hip-hop tutorials click here and because the course is a frequency multiplier we can't really set the exact note so for that, I want to use a transposition, so crank it up to plus 10. And that is almost clavier-like, but to make it more accurate, let's set the envelope, so pull back the sustain and the decay to about 95. So we are almost there, and let's add some very tiny pitch envelope to it, so about 3%, give a huge attack time with some huge initial, while a little slower, like 1.7 and some decay to about 9, 9 milliseconds. Okay, so this is it. Basically, the clavier is this, but I want to add some EQ to add a little more high frequency to it. Which is funny because, you know, we are dealing with only one harmonic here, one sine wave, but still, we can still make it a little brighter. So, this is the clavier. It is really, really simple. This was all. And now let's drop in the snare and the clap. Okay, so the snare and the clap, let's call it clavier. The snare and the clap is basically an 808 sample. So let's go to drums and we can use this 808 core kit. And as you can see, we have a snare and the clap. So this is what we are going to use now. But if you want to trigger the snare and the clap with C3 note, as you can see, we are using C3 with the clavier, you need to go here and in the I.O. settings, as you can see, the snare is triggered by D1. This is not good, so we want to trigger it using C3. So set it to C3, just like the clap, go C3, and we are done. But we need to step this forward and EQ it and change some transpositions and stuff to make it really punchy and really fun to use. The first thing is I want to make the snare and the clap to one shot. And the snare is fine, the only thing I want to week is a transposition set it up to, to crank it up to 11 and with the clap is a little too long so I want to make it a little shorter so let's use these little sliders and make a fade out okay this is fine now I know what you are thinking this is very weak but we are going to fix them in post process so let's add some effects so let's go to audio effects take an EQ8 and drop it here on the group like the 808 core kit group so what I want to do here is chop off the very highs, decrease a little that fundamental on the snare, and boost a little on the clap frequency, so at around 1.4k. Now it still sounds very dumb, so let's go back to the audio effects, and one of my favorite thing here is a drum bus. So let's drop it after the EQ8, add some huge drive to it, so about 40%, some huge transients, so about 0.5. And it is already a lot better. Okay, we are done here. Let's go to the next phase where we are going to process the whole thing with the snare, the clap and the clavier. The first thing that I want to add here is a saturator. So drop it right after the whole instrument rack and crank up the drive to about 5 decibels. Now this is the point when we need to tweak those levels, so with the clavier and the snare clap. So let's go here. Let's 
Okay, this is fine because in our because right now the Clavia gets through the mix a lot better. Let's add another EQ8 after the saturator. A drop off the very lows, right below the fundamental frequency. If you want, we can add some more high sweat, like on the overall thing. And another drum bus to add some more compression sweat. Okay, so basically we are done. So this is the snare sound that you can hear everywhere in every hip hop song basically. And the coolest thing in this part is that it's fully customizable. So let's jump back to the project and let me show you one thing. So if you go to the Clavio for example and start tweaking the course, for example setting it up to 14 uh, course and if you play around with the level you can hear how cool frequencies you can create like some metallic tone for that for that clavia which is very cool because you can create your own snare sound for basically every track you want or you can go to the core kit and play around with the pitch of the snare or for the clap How cool is this? Okay, so this is it for today. If you want to grab this rack, go to my Patreon and see you guys next time. Peace.